Hello. Just before this video begins, I think um, this video contains some pretty important information, not just for sellers, but for buyers also. Um, so if you can like, share, basically spread this around, share it on forums, Facebook groups, within any community you are part of, um, get it discussed uh, because the only way this is going to get changed is if there's an uproar over it. People see it and they actually go out and speak about it um, and raise their concerns. Um, I enjoy using Depop. I do. I like the way that I can just list everything from my phone, as I said in the previous video. But they seem intent on burying themselves. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching and into the video. So yesterday, I released a video on the 2024 Depop update, and today uh, I got some information which, if you just watched the video yesterday, you'd see that I mentioned at some point that I'd be surprised if the platform's around in 2025, 2026, and it seems they're trying to speed run their own demise because uh, in the last week, they've snuck out a buyer service fee. <sighs> you can't even make this shit up anymore. Hello, my name is Jonathan and I buy and sell vintage clothing for a living. And I use different platforms from eBay, Depop, etc. And yesterday I made a video uh, covering Depop 2024, some hints and tips for new sellers and how I kind of feel the platform is. Now, when a company is struggling, there are two ways they can go. They can look to rebuild the faith in customers and the re their faith in the sellers and basically treat it as a restart and rebuild um, that customer loyalty, which they have obviously lost. Or they could start trying to cash grab, which is generally the final nail in the coffin, because when they start increasing fees, uh, adding service charges, et cetera, et cetera, that's when more and more people start stepping away and it ultimately leads to the collapse of the company. You don't need to look at me for this. You don't need to go, oh, is he talking shit? There are plenty of examples out there on the internet of companies that have price gouged to try and save themselves and end up collapsing under the pressure of it. And sadly, it looks like Depop is heading down that route. Now, I did mention that they are making bizarre decisions and copying many of the things Vinted do, except for the good things like properly advertising. Um, and they've snuck in this uh, buyer service fee. Now, I'm going to post it up here, uh, but basically on my piece of paper, it says updated eight days ago. Um, and there's been no announcement that I can see anywhere on the internet about this. It's just something they've slid in. So it reads, the buyer service fee is a small charge applied to the purchases for buyers from those shipping, uh, for buyers whose shipping address is in the UK and the US making purchase using the Stripe via the buy button. We're using this fee to reinvest into the platform, allowing us to continue to enhance the, and grow the, um, the many benefits we offer to our community. When you use Depop Pay, they remove PayPal, so you can't pay via PayPal anymore. You have to pay by Stripe. Stripe is the payment processing that they use. It's the company they use. Think of it like PayPal. It's a payment processing company. Um, Stripe is the one Depop have a deal with. That 2.9% uh, and 30p they charge as a payment processing, that goes to Stripe. Um, if you pay by card or Google Pay, uh, I'm not sure about Apple Pay, but it probably is Apple Pay as well, that payment is processed via Stripe. Stripe are the ones who handle it. When you set up your seller account and you set up a direct debit, that direct debit is for Stripe. So. Basically, any payment is going to be subject to this. Now, it doesn't seem to be fully rolled out. Um, some people are saying they haven't seen it. Some people are saying they have. On the Facebook group that it came up on, where somebody's like, what's this all about? Um, they posted the actual screenshot where it has the service fee. Now, the service fee itself, let me skip to the next page because there's lots of drivel in here. The buyer service fee will be up to 5% of the purchase price plus a fixed amount of one pound or one dollar. Um, excluding taxes and postage costs, the exact amount of the buyer service fee applicable to the purchase will also be shown as part of the checkout process. So the buyer won't even know they've been charged it until they get to the checkout. So if it's 10 quid, um, they pay 10 quid plus three quid post, and then when they get to the checkout, there's gonna be another one pound 50 tapped on top of it for their service charges. It's honestly insane. 
the promoted um, features is basically we're investing this uh, to our platform to upgrade features, improve security and optimize performance. What the fuck is our 10% covering then? If you need an extra 5% from the buyers as well. If you tack on 8% for boosted listing, which takes up to 20 odd percent, they're wanting nearly 25% and they're taking it from the buyer and the seller while also stripping the seller of their seller protection. You genuinely can't make this uh, shit up. Like it's so insane. And as I said, you, if you're like me, right, and you kind of pay attention to businesses, you're interested in what businesses do, the business practices, the things they do to make money, when things start going wrong, what it is that they did that went wrong. It's literally textbook, like it's textbook, um, poor business management. You couldn't get any further away from it. And I've said so many times, so, so many times, instead of focusing on the real issues, which is, um, the fact that the platform is unstable, um, it doesn't work properly, it's slow, it's clunky. Instead of taking the profit they did have and investing it into a purpose-built app that can manage the amount of information that is flowing through it, which this open source software they currently use can't, instead of doing all that, they squandered the profit and now they have no money, they're losing customers rapidly, their ratings on... Um, I play, uh, not I play, uh, Google Store, Apple Store are going down. Um, it is just, they're just digging themselves a constant grave. And this, this is your final nail in the coffin. When buyers, we've already had uh, seen screenshots of buyers saying, I don't know what this, uh, this service charge is, but I'm not paying it. Um, and basically people have posted those screenshots of those conversations into these groups. And there's only been a three or four that I've seen so far, but the fact that this is actually off their website, this is actually off Depop's help desk. So this is not like, uh, oh, is this actually happening? This is direct from Depop. I'll put a link so you can go to the page itself. It's from the Zendesk, basically informing you what this is. But again, they've snuck this little fee out, not told anybody, hoping no one's gonna notice. I can't remember what Vinted charge, but I'm fairly sure it's not this high. Um, so it's a case of, yeah, it, you couldn't like speed run blowing your company up any quicker than what Depop's currently trying to do. And I hope, I hope, if they see this and their reaction is to block my accounts, fair enough, right? I can just list to eBay, it's not an issue. But I seriously hope somebody higher up pays attention to what's happening understands what they're doing is fundamentally wrong and actually seeks to fix it because the only way to fix the company and we know this because again we can compare it to companies that have brought themselves back from these situations we can compare them to companies who have fallen apart under these situations the companies that start price gouging just drive the last remaining customers away the companies that start trying to take care of their uh, customers trying to nurture that loyalty, trying to bring it back, trying to stabilize the platform are the ones that heal and return. They might not make money for a couple of years, but they'll turn it around and then they'll start taking off. It's really down to management or lack thereof um, and just people price gouging. Generally, it's your CEOs who are just trying to get that last bonus out. Um, can't say that's the case for this one. It could just be um, general stupidity. Who knows? But whoever is making these decisions um, needs to be held accountable and needs to be booted out the door. A new management needs to come in and actually take care of the platform to turn it around. Otherwise, yeah, I'm predicting 2000, uh, 2025, 2026. If Depop's still in service, I'll be uh, impressed. Um, but this uh, buyer fee on top of the seller fee, I mean, come on, you, 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 you don't even need me to tell you that it's a bad idea. It's just common sense is gonna tell you this is a bad idea. But there you go. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. Let me know if you think I don't know what I'm talking about. I might not. I am not an economist. I don't have a degree in businesses. Um, I just do a lot of research on this stuff because I find it interesting and the amount of parallels this leads to companies that basically shut themselves down um, is uncanny. And 
I've been preaching the same thing for a long time now. If you keep pissing off the customers, um, you're gonna kill your business. You've pissed off the buyers, you've driven the buyers away. Sorry, you've pissed off the sellers and you've driven the sellers away, and now you're working on the buyers. You, you tell me, right? If you don't have sellers and you don't have buyers, you don't have a business. It's that simple. But anyway, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. So there you go. Peace.